If I recall correctly, the origin of Sleeping Beauties came before dinner one night. I said, well-aged parent, how are you? And the aged P said, all right, Owen, all right. So I thought to amuse the aged with a story, which is what he likes in the evening. I suggested, what about one where all the women in the world fell asleep and the men had to contend on their own? Well, the old fellow brightened right up and insisted we write it together. I was a little hesitant at first because the premise seemed so large and involved, but the aged P is nothing if not persuasive, and by the time we went out to fire the stinger, he had me convinced. In all earnestness, I want to say what a labor of love this experience has been and how grateful we are for your enthusiasm. It was a delight to get to spend so much time as an adult with my father and an education to have a close-up look at his work process. It's something I will treasure forever, and I think that the result is pretty special too, and uh, I hope lots of people like it. Thank you. When Owen came to me with the idea for Sleeping Beauties, I jumped at it, partly because you know, he's a good writer with a knack for invention and an ear for dialogue, um, partly because it was a trip to co-write with my son, but mostly because the idea was so cool. What if all the women in the world fell asleep except for one mysterious woman incarcerated in a woman's prison, which is the main industry of dueling, the small town uh, where we set the novel? What might men desperate to get their women back, do to get at her. Had to write it. <laughs> we just had to. Working with Owen was a terrific experience, and I love how the book turned out.